Friends all over the world, my name is Professor Gabriel Vigero. I am the Secretary General of the World Federation for Mental Health, President of the World Dignity Project. And um, uh, my, my, my training is actually in primary care and psychiatry, where I'm a visiting professor of population mental health at the Nova University in Portugal, Lisbon. I'm an honorary visiting fellow at School of Management, University of Bradford, United Kingdom. And as I said, I'm practicing both in London and also visiting to Lisbon. I've been, I've actually been interested in mental health for a very long time. And I used to be the past chair of the American Security Association Caucus for Mental Health. So it gives me great pleasure to welcome all of you to this uh, event. But before I start, I want to extend the greetings from my president, Dr. Nassar Loza, who, and also from the board of WFMH, so NASA and the board have been very active supporting global mental health advocacy and I am um, sincere thanks to them. As you can see, we have a very big board. We have membership, you know, as I said, NASA is the president. The president elect is Akiya Matriyoshi, immediate past president Ingrid Daniels, our corporate secretary Sylvia Raghi, our treasurer Andrew Moharad, our deputy treasurer uh, Dr. Hen Pamentier, the, uh, the vice president for consumer development Sunni Mittal, Vice President for Development, Robert Menzina. Vice President from Africa, Johannes Langba. Vice President from Asia, Roy Kaivali. VP for Emerald Region, Brigitte Kauri. VP from Europe, Juka Karakaina. VP for Latin America, Fernando Lulas. VP North America and the Caribbean, Alad Tasman. VP Oceania, Julian Milad. We also were supported by directors at large. Um, you know, who again have contributed significantly to DCS development. They include Spirion Zompas, Shun Jian Lu, Sebin Behakola, Indira Sharma, Mena Zafa, Juan Carlos, Victor Woods, Unai Vanias, and Master Sel. And I am supporting the whole uh, uh, project as Secretary General as CEO of WFMH. And so, really, so on behalf of the board and everybody who have worked with us, I want to say thank you. So, the, so for us, you know, for WFMH, there are key things that will drive our initiatives and what we try to say together as the three pillars. Because often we think we can do things alone, but it's not possible. So we have to work together in a way that brings all of us together. And that's what the three pillars uh, are about. So one of the pillars is about the, about the people and NGOs. So we are the people and all the NGOs who make things happen. You have the professionals and community leaders who accept, who allow the community to be resilient and support our initiatives. But it's impossible to deliver our goods and our activities unless you have the government. So really, so we need an, an alliance between these three people and these three institutions, these three individuals to make things we want. And that is what it is about this year. Our theme for this year's World Mental Health is called Mental Health is a Universal Human Right. Universal is a word, human rights for the people, and you cannot have universal rights unless you have the professionals, the government, and the people working together. So really, so you can see in the image for the World Mental Health Day slogan, logo, is if you can see the center of the globe in the middle, the heart, which is about us as humans. And, and so really, so, so this is really what, what we're about, you know? So, you know, what else, you know? So that I've spoken about the board, I've spoken about you know the directors, but really, you cannot have an effective membership organization without the people that are the back office. So you can see. So I want to say thank you very much to the people who support my office. You know, so this my IT support Mario Melo, who makes sure our IT work very well. My advisor Steve Mangot, who ensures that we are complying with many of the initiatives. And, uh, that we need to do as NGO. You know, we have a legal advisor, Marina Kamwa, who is a very top lawyer from in India, who ensures that you know we're legally compliant, which is very important, mm -hmm. ensuring that we're respecting the rights of people, rights of citizens, and how we handle our data. See, the BFMH is it's about the yesterday, today, and the future. You know, so really, so we have the youth set, so therefore we have a very active youth section led by my advice on youth of affairs he shares somewhere. So you can see that you know we're putting a structure that supports what we're doing. 
legal component, IT, uh, the youths, you know, and what the youths actually helping us to do is to find a different way to communicate, different from what we used to do. So, so ensuring that we compute the youths, ensuring that we are using modern way of communication and languages. So really, so, in, uh, and I will talk a bit more as I go along. So what are we doing this year? Two things, you know, this year marks the 75th anniversary of the formation of the World Federation for Mental Health. So really, so it's very a, an important uh, landmark for us, you know, and and also you know also as we're doing that, we're also celebrating World Mental Health Day as one of the initiatives, you know, of the WFMH, you know, to ensure that we connect with the people. How did we start? The WFMH started in 1948 after the aftermath of the Second World War, and then, so really at that time, citizens felt there was a need for something new. If we wanted a voice across that would represent membership, individuals, communities. And that's really what it is that was set up that time. And at the time, our forefathers, the founding people, we really recognized that we had to have stakeholders. So the people are really stakeholders. So really, so, you know, from that time, you know, we've always known that we cannot do it alone. And really, so, and if you look at the logo behind, which I'm just showing, we're showing that we've been existing for 75 years. You can see the blue wave. You see the sea of movement, you know, across the world, you know, and you can see the logo of the BFMH, but more importantly, also the 75th anniversary. And you can also see something else, you know, you can see on the right, top right hand corner, the, the globe, you can see that supported by the hands, you know, so you can see it's all colors of the world, you know, supporting the globe. That what the message that we are giving to you and we're all saying is that, all of us together, we make a difference in the world. We can keep the world together. We can hold it, you know, but you have to do something different. You have to be an advocate. You have to be involved. And really, so I'm just producing this campaign to invite you, whether you are young, old, you know, you know where part of the world you are from, your, you know, your sexuality, your gender, your color, everything that the world tradition for mental health is for all of you. You know, human right, you know, is an aspect that all of us need to. Mental health is a universal right that we must all advance to and be willing to be part of and support. So really, so it's a plea to you that this is for you. So, you know, so, and you know, so, you know, so what is this thing? Let me spend a bit of time about the theme. As I said, the theme is, is, is mental health is a universal human right. So we have to think about it. We have to think about, as I say, universality, that is all of us. There's no man or woman or human that is immune against mental distress. I think we just have that as a given. I don't think you know, anybody in this world exists that has not known somebody or who has not suffered from mental illness. So another given. So, but you know, even though we know this is universal, we don't get the same care that we deserve, you know? So really, so what we're talking about is that we have rights for human, for people mentally to be protected. You know, at all at all costs, you know, so that's important. We have right, we need right to access of quality and affordable care, you know, and, and right to freedom and dignity, say and, and choice. So really, so you can see that you know the thing chosen by a global consensus and a global vote is very, very, very powerful, you know. So we all aspire to all this right, but let's make it you know, a reality for not just a few, but for everybody in the world. And just at told you, because we're talking about century anniversary. So we have this document, you know, the, you know, you know, uh, you know that, that looks at how WF was funded, you know, and really at the time, you know, when, when in 1948, you know, when it, the meeting came together in London, there were 46 countries that participated. Now, the WFM membership are in over 90 countries and World Mental Health Day is celebrated across the world. It doesn't matter whether you're a member of the WFM or not. But um, I want to see, by the time I finish my time as the Secretary General, to see that we have a footprint in every country of the world, not just the 90 we have now. So I am going to work tirelessly to see how, how we can make, make, this, make, this, make this happen. So, but you know, so if you want to read a bit more about the PFMA, you know, so this article, this document is there on the Welcome Trust in London. You can go to the website and you can download it.
So, you know, so, you know, so, so, so since that 1948, we've been active, you know, you know, you know, about world, about advocacy. We'll be having world congresses every two years until the pandemic, you know, and that. So, you know, obviously that's been, we uh, will be to review how we do that because we want to bring people together. Professionals, citizens, policymakers, lawyers, you know, everybody. So, which was the principle when we were, as I said, funded in 1948, you know. So, I'm hoping that we will come back to a different methodology of doing it, you know. Perhaps, you know, there'll be more, you know, symposium online, maybe smaller people coming together. We don't know, but we want to work with you so that we can see how, how we can move forward. I already spoke briefly about. You know, by World Mental Health Day. World Mental Health Day was an initiative that was thought about by, you know, uh, by by uh, uh, Dr. Richard Hunter, who was actually the Deputy Secretary General for the WFMH at the time, you know, and he thought and worked with, with our colleagues all over the world that we had to have something else that we, we can use it as a global day for us to talk about World Mental Health Day so that everybody, doesn't matter where you are from, I already told you, nobody's immune against mental illness. So let's choose a day. So the 10th of October of chosen. And since 1992, we have been celebrating World Mental Health Day every year. So thank you to all of you who have done something. So thank you to all of you who have highlighted issues. Thank you to the, everybody who's been working to make sure we, we, this aspiration is not just a few, but a goal for all. You know, so I'm really very grateful for that. This year, we've developed what's called a campaign toolkit. So again, I want to thank you to our lawyers, our team, who have helped us to put together. We put out this toolkit to help you, to activate you, to allow you to engage. So you will be able to download it, tells you how to make a declaration, how to send petition. You know, I told you already, remember I told you the three pillars. So you as a citizen, you are the main So you can sell, you use the toolkit to contact your psychiatrist, your family doctors, your social worker, the local authority, and also to your government. So please download the toolkit. It's there for you to use, you know, and you can also modify it, you know. And I must tell you that the toolkit is very, very helpful. For example, last year, we had many people use all over the world, you know, who use the toolkit for their campaign, you know, and uh, we, you know, so really, so we have a very strong new volunteering team. And last year we had about 500 people who volunteered, you know, to help us, you know, they showed their initiative. I told you the youths are the future of the world, you know, the future for us, you know. And this year we've launched again the campaign to bring more youth to come, you know, to come on board, you know. And hopefully we will have more of you, you know, to join us. This slide, what I'm trying to show you, you can see, if you remember I showed you earlier on the globe of the world with the globe, you know, and humans. But again, what I'm showing you here is a different angle that we can work together in a collective way so all of us connecting with each other you know so i'm inviting you you know to show what you're doing all over the world you know what you're doing your campaigns we have our website dedicated to this well funded by the wfmh we will be able to publish events you are doing we want you to express yourself through art you know so maybe art you know running you know so freedom of expression you know the rights for citizens to express themselves you know, you know, we're even thinking maybe in the future we'll develop, uh, you know, stickers to put in their cars, you know, flags, you know, to say, I belong, I recognize, I'm here to, to work with all of you. So hopefully, you know, we want you to express yourself, you know, I'd like you to see you write to your government, tell them how you feel, tell them what you want, you know, let's write together to the United Nations, you know, telling them how, what it is like to be somebody with mental illness or somebody who lives with mental illness. And also, what are the things we can do to protect, you know, to prevent, you know, the you know, mental illness, you know? So really, so, so really, so, so really, so I'm very, 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 very passionate about this. And um, so, as I told you, now we have this website, which we are, we're launching, we launch on the 16th of August for you to show your initiatives. So we will be contacting you to add on to it. You know, we want your flags, your logos, you know, your website to show. Um, but at the same time, we want show, I want you to keep on showing for us, you know, you know what you are doing. We'll let's share with the rest of the world, you know. So I told you already, I have a very strong team behind this campaign. So I'm very, very grateful to them, you know. You know, so really, so, you know, so without them, I can't do this, you know. So we have very strong leadership of the WFMA. We have our members who are representatives at the UN and WHO. 
as I said, you know, strong things, you know, and developed here at you know. I, I want to actually get to a thousand this year, you know. And then because really it's a ripple effect. Remember, I showed you that the wave, you know, say ripple effect, want the ripple to go around the world, you know, so that we keep on saying the things so that in the next 10, 20, 30 years, you know, if we will say actually we did it together and things change, you know, and we move things forward, you know. So, really, so I know it's a very short presentation. I want to thank you, thank each and every one of you for what you have done. You know, you can see all our, you know, all our hashtag there for you to use. We, I'm happy to receive emails from you. You know, I'm happy to to work with you. I've got my your, my team ready to work with you. They are very keen to listen to you. They are very keen to see how they can support you, how we can support you. So, ladies and gentlemen, friends, colleagues, members of the WFMH world, you know, as a whole, um, I'm very pleased to tell you how we, what we have been doing. It is you that make things happen. It is you we are serving, and I want to see how we can truly make a difference. Thank you, and thanks for listening to me. Thank you. Bye.